What's up, y'all? Feel Simple here from Fayetteville, North Carolina. I was raised in a musical family, so I was like, why not give a hand at it? Um, know how to play the bass guitar. I started rapping in the sixth grade. Um, T.I. actually made me want to rap um, when I first heard trap music. And I was like, man, he's doing something epic creating this whole nother genre that it would be later on down the line and after that just wanted to rap feel simple uh, it's a play off my first and my last name of course um, my, go- my real name is Philip Pickett Simpson I got two last names so I was like what what would really make me stand out uh, a lot of my fans know me previously as Philly Phil but um, there's already too many people feels. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta stand out, I gotta make it. So I'm only one, only one. And um, and so like I said, it's a play off my name, Phil from Philip and Simple from Simpson. And I just wanted y'all to get me. Kendrick Lamar wasn't always going by Kendrick Lamar. He was K Dot at one time. J Cole wasn't always J Cole. He was. Be the therapist at one time, so I just feel like me changing into that. Yes, y'all probably gonna be like, "Ooh, go Philly Phil, go Philly Phil." That's always probably gonna be like my alter ego, but feel simple is a look inside the man of who I am. I say my most early influences would be like DMX, Jay Z. I just like the way that it was like kind of rough and rugged with it. Um, the first song I, I I think I heard as a hip hop is uh, Outkast Elevators. I remember hearing that on the radio all the time when I was little. And then DMX would probably come on or something. But those were mostly my influences. Like I said, D'Angelo, T.I., Outkast, Jay-Z, and just all around great artists. I, I figured that in order to be great, you gotta study the greats. I would like my music to feel like you just, it feels home, like you feel the love whenever you listen to it. And that's who I really aspire to be like. When rappers nowadays talk about their favorite MCs or who's the greatest MCs in their head, this is already a given that Tupac or Biggie or Jay Z is gonna come up on that list. So it's like, those names are given. Now let's create a new list. Nowadays, you probably hear somebody say Gucci Man with their uh, influences or, or Lil Wayne. Let's start naming some of these people because they're great too. So that's why I want to kind of change. I like even down to the smallest fracture. I want to change that. I see us getting into different different types of art now that J Cole stepped out there. He really gave us a lane that we could come come in come through and and just demolish but i really hope that 
with us flourishing into the music business that they really get to know the side of North Carolina. The stuff that you probably are known from hearing Petey Pablo on, that's a, that's that's like a North Carolina or a Fayetteville sound. Like it's, it feels like you're at home, but it got that roughness to it, it got that rowdiness to it. At the same time, it's like soul music almost meets crunk music with Fayetteville, not, not J. Cole. He got some of that influences, and we also can hear that New York influence in his music. But Fayetteville, as the city, is is like is like down south Atlanta meets uh, probably like a Mississippi blues type thing. Get down. That's my latest song. I just put out. When I was making that, I really what I was talking about was how people go to house parties or the parties in general or the club, and they go in there just to forget about all their problems, whether it is drinking alcohol, whether it is um, using drugs, or just to go and dance. A lot of people um, go there to get away from their problems, and that's the song that is going to help you party at, but at the same time deal with your problems. And um, when I was making it, um, I really pulled from Outkast um, with the chorus, and I just wanted to feel like uh, it was back at one of my cousin's old house parties. Hands up in the air like it's 2009. I just don't care. Uh, different attitude. Them lights come around. They just want to forget everything. Get down. Project new. I wanted people to learn about their self. A lot of people doubt their self. And if you don't know yourself, that's why I want you to become a new person. Become a one with yourself. And, and that's that's what you're going to expect from the new project. I may have a song talking about this over here, a song talking about this over there. But at the end of the day, it's all going to come together. Because like the old head say, there's nothing new under the sun. So I'm just giving you all these elements that we go through in life and hoping that you just find yourself within whatever is going on. I thank you first of all because if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be here. Y'all really do push every artist y'all get. Y'all y'all put artists on a lot of platforms that y'all don't know. I feel like a lot of people say that lyrical rap ain't like what it used to be, but I feel like it's making a comeback. So that's my whole thing. Is this different, changing the norm, and being left at all times um go follow me on instagram at feel simple underscore msng go follow me on twitter at feel simple um go like my facebook page feel simple everything feel simple go look me up i'm the only one what's next more different music um hopefully a a, a lot of a lot of uh, great quality music and and hopefully mm, speaking into existence uh a lot of change a lot of change and i just thank y'all for riding with me so far uh hopefully i can continue to make y'all proud um from the feedback i've been getting i'm definitely still making y'all proud and i hope to keep that going on for as long like till i'm like smoky robinson age <laughs>